you must apply 100% braking. You must apply 100% braking. If you want to know what the road is, you've got to ask for all of it. You've got to ask for all of it. If you only ask for part of it by only pressing the brake a little bit, it'll only measure part of it because that's all that will happen. So you have to be careful that you hit the brakes hard, either lock them up or get them to ABS pulse. But that's critical, 100% braking. And for a defense expert, it's the way to misuse the device. Don't do that. Don't use 100% braking, and you'll get a smaller value because you'll only be asking for part of it. And then view or print the measurement. So that's what it looks like when you print it. Prosecutors, if you have a drag factor in your case, 0 0.78, 0 0.82, 0 0.86, and defense suddenly has one like 0 0.5, 0 0.6, suspect that if that's done with an accelerometer, it could be misused. It could be not 100% braking, and now the expert has a $4,000 piece of equipment that he declares is better than your measurement declares is better than your piece of a tire down on your hands and knees with a scale that has a marlin on the side of it and the jury goes sounds right to me 4000 scale with a marlin on the side of it and that's the kind of declaration an expert makes they misuse the accelerometer and then declare your measurements no good and believe me it becomes a credibility battle unless the jury knows that it can be misused. And your officer can testify to that in anticipation of the defense. Your officer can testify that just in general, as general information. Officer, in your report, you used a device called a drag sled, and you've just testified to the jury about what it is, correct? Yes. Are there other ways to measure that? Yes. Tell us about that. Well, one way is called an accelerometer. Now, you don't know whether the defense expert is using accelerometer or not, but you're going to close this door right now. Officer, tell them about that. Well, it's got a motion sensor, and when you put the brakes on, it senses. And Can you misuse a device like that, officer? Well, sure. If you don't apply the brakes fully, then you don't measure everything that's there because the vehicle doesn't experience all of it. So could you just say that in a little more common language? Yeah, you can make the instrument read anything you want to. Wow. Now the jury has in their mind, if somebody mentions this $4,000 piece of equipment, it can be misused. Shame on you if you don't do that. And they do introduce the accelerometer, and now you have to do it in cross-examination. Because it's not going to be very easy to get the expert to admit that he didn't use 100% braking. It's not going to be very easy in cross. It's real easy in direct. To have your officer tell the jury, here's what happens if you don't use 100% braking, you get less than what I got. John, I, I, um, I got this report from a defense expert. Yeah. He apparently went out to the scene about a month after the crash, used an accelerometer, and he comes up with a 0.46 drag factor for the road. But the police that night... Um, used a drag sled, and they had a 0.84 drag factor. Now, what's the deal with that? Okay. Let's, uh, let me take... Yeah, yeah, see? Here's what, he, here's what I think he did. If you apply the brakes and put the vehicle into a skid, which is what the evidence is in this case, that there are skid marks, then when you do the test, you're supposed to get the car up to speed, slam on the brakes, lock up the tires, Make skid marks. Well, isn't that what he did? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, because let's say uh, let's say you're 0 .84. Let's say he decides to use 50% braking. So he only hits the brakes half. The tires only brake half. Even though the road's 0 .84, the car experiences half of it, 0 .42. Okay. Because he's controlling the braking. When when you when you go out of out of your office tonight, you get your car, you drive home. The first time you stop for a stoplight, there's no skin marks on the ground. Right. You're using like 20% braking. So if you had an accelerometer on board and the road is 0.84, you'd be reading a 16. You'd be reading 0.16. You'd 
because you never lock the tires up. Mm -hmm. So the situation here may be that he does the test, but he doesn't do a skid. How would I know? How, how can I? Well, if he does a test by himself, I think that's, that's the first good indicator that something might be happening. If nobody sees him do the test. So I think if you're anticipating... And, and he doesn't have, I don't know, but he doesn't have a videotape yeah. or any witnesses. He doesn't have any photographs of the tire any marks on the ground. Of the skid mark. He doesn't have any photographs of the tires of the vehicle showing skid patches on the tires. Mm -hmm. Did he have somebody go there with him? No, I got nothing. I yeah. got, all yeah. I have is this number and the fact that he used an accelerometer. Yeah. Did he ask the police to shut the road down so that they're there? I doubt it. Yeah. I'll find out. So, yeah, one, one of the things you probably want to do is, is think through the ways that he can verify that he really did First of all, set up the accelerometer right inside the car. So you need to get the user's manual for the mm -hmm. accelerometer. Because that will tell you how to zero it, how to set it, how to pick the test you want, how to set the duration of the test. Because if you don't do that right, it's just measuring. But the number doesn't really mean what it's supposed to mean. So the first thing would be the setup of the instrument. The second thing, though, is he has to be able to convince the jury that he put this car into a skid. And none of his numbers on his printout are as high as the number the police measured. See, it'd even be maybe believable if he got some numbers at point eighty four and other numbers at lower numbers, and they averaged together to be point forty six. He could say, well, the road had differences. But his curve is smooth. So it means the road was the same every place. Mm -hmm. And that means there's something going on here, because your guys saw point eighty four. Well, I mean, a point forty six. I, I don't know that I've ever seen that. You you won't see that on a dry road. If you see that on a dry road, they should be resurfacing the dry road because if it's point forty six dry, it's going to be point twenty wet, and cars are going to be slip sliding like well, like they're going out of style. Isn't point forty six usually f yeah, for a wet for road? a wet road? Yeah, yeah. That's why it seems so obvious. There's something wrong here. It may have been an honest mistake. He may have actually skidded the car, but he never set up the instrument right. And so it was reading, but it was out of calibration. Mm -hmm. uh, you might want to call around some other offices and see if this guy's testified like this before. Because mm -hmm. if he got this thing where he does partial braking, and therefore he can generate any number he wants to generate. True. I mean, if we looked at point eighty four, we looked at 20% of it, 30% of it, 40% of it, he can make the thing read anything he wants just by brake pressure. Mm -hmm. Maybe one of the other DAs had this same experience where all of a sudden this guy has a low drag factor. And then it might be a little more serious than just didn't set up the instrument. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is the way the guy makes measurements. Because mm -hmm. the low drag factor is going to help him. Oh, yeah. It, it always favors the defendant, sure. Right. And that's why your, your measurement is so valuable, because you did it right at the scene, right that night, with an instrument, checked the scale. Other people are watching the scale. Other people are watching the pull. you got two or three officers who saw the scale read what it read. Yep. And this guy comes along with you know half of that or something. So... What what is grass? What's the drag factor on grass? Grass is like uh, 0 0.35 to 0 0.45. So a number like this is like grass. So, you know, if it comes down to push and shove, he's going to have to convince the jury about the calibration. He's going to have to convince them he even did skid a vehicle. And then he's going to have to overcome how could a paved asphalt highway have the same drag factor as grass? Because the jury isn't going to believe that both of those are equally as tacky or as mm -hmm. frictional. Mm -hmm. So I think you're in real good shape. I Seems don't know. Seems like that number is way too low. Oh, it is. It is way too low, yeah.